take a look at the future leaders of the Pacific. 56 representatives from 19 different countries around the region. All took part in the Future Leaders of the Pacific Conference last week in Auckland, where social entrepreneurship was the theme. Leaders, including those from outside New Zealand, had a lot to take away. There is so much wealth of knowledge here that you guys have been able to overcome in your history and that strength has led into a lot of wonderful policy, a lot of culture, a lot of excitement in the, in the region, in, in this, this beautiful place. And many of us are in a different situation in our homelands. The ceremony and the etiquette that takes place here in New Zealand um, through dance and song and language of the Maori people and also through the stories I've heard of other nations is um, it's much more vibrant than anything we have in Australia at the moment that the Aboriginal and Torres Strait Islander people are recognised but um, it's not formalised or institutionalised the way that I've seen the last two days. Well, not only do I now want to go home and start my own social entrepreneurs but also to take that back to my younger leaders and let them know like hey if you, you really are passionate about that issue you can do something about it like right now. It doesn't have to be big or fancy, but it can make a huge impact. I have learned that you don't just work for the sake of working, but like there's something about helping a community out and helping someone out that makes it more meaningful. Another major theme of the conference was the value of knowing your heritage, something that everyone related to. Wherever you go, you, you somewhat carry your, your, your culture and your, your heritage with you. And if we're not careful, given the Western influences and you know the digital age and um, techno technology era, you know we will lose contact of our culture. Yeah. And the conference itself was good, you know, um, coming together. It was, you know, there was a call to look to look back. Yeah, as cliche as it is, you know, we got to look back to go um, forward. Our culture, it, it's who we are. You know, we're not just one person. We bring with us our ancestors, our land, our beliefs. Um, and so moving forward, I think we're, we're going in the right direction that we're, we're really encouraging that cultural repatriation and we're endorsing it and we're making sure it's, it's part of everything that we do. The strength and identity that's so obvious when you talk and meet um, other people who know who they are and know where they've come from and know their indigenous heritage, it's so apparent to me here that people who, people who are from Maori or from or Pacific Islanders native Pacific Islanders and they, and they can articulate um, the, their indigenous background with pride and, and with sincerity, it, it gives, it, it's apparent in the, in the way they the walk, the way they talk, the way they represent themselves, that they're much stronger than someone who has no cultural understanding or cultural connection. Because I learned it, not from me, this wisdom is not from me, it is from my, my, my parents and so on and my grandparents. And what they taught me was you have, to, you have to know your past if you want to make change in the future. So we can avoid some of the mistakes that we, mistakes that we have made in the past and move forward with more innovative things that are more beneficial to us. And through learning from key speakers like former All Black Michael Jones and others from the US Embassy and the business and arts worlds, they found that social enterprise is more than what they thought. And I think coming to this conference I realised that social enterprise is everywhere. It's so, you know, multifaceted and everyone can, has the opportunity to become an entrepreneur in whatever area they're passionate about. So I think the importance for Māori and Pacific is that we need to start telling our young kids that you can do this and you should be doing this because we are the experts on the problems of the Pacific, so we should be leading the change. Being inspired doesn't happen every day and I guess things like this really sort of reminds you of why it's important to like, you know, have these kind of things so you can like get reminded of who you are, what inspires you and sort of sets a platform of where to go after this. Just having the right heart to give back I guess in whatever you do and um, in this case it was social enterprises and you know if you're uh, successful enough and willing to give back I guess that's probably um, what our Pacific people need and what our Māori and Pacific communities uh, could really benefit yeah, that. from. We as a local people, we as an indigenous people can can and entrepreneur, uh, you know, uh, socially and responsibly in a way that's sustainable for us as a people. The next Leaders Conference will be in Hawaii next year. Alistair Kata for Pacific Media Watch.